Okay, on this uh, here custom skateboard project, I've already got it primed. I did the 600 wet sand on it, so we're going to get the base color down. We're going to kind of do like low rider style graphics on this. It's going to be a candy skateboard, and then we'll do some graphics over top of candy. And so anyways, that's where we're at. I'm going to get the Nova Orange, House Color Nova Orange sprayed down. Uh, we're going to do root beer candy mix with Spanish gold on top. And obviously we're going to have some overspray patterns. So let me get spraying. Here goes the uh, Nova Orange House of Color. We're going to get this on here. This is the base. Get these edges. Man, I'm doing a lousy job filming. I'm like filming everything except for where I'm spraying. that's the first coat so after uh, this I'll do a couple more coats even to color out get any uh, make sure it's nice and uh, solid I'll SG 100 it and then uh, I'll start taping out the overspray patterns that's the next bit of uh, video I'll be doing okay um, I'm starting to lay out the graphics I did the two center lines on the the truck mounting holes and I'm going to go ahead and forward this over. We're going to create overspray patterns with the tape here. And I don't like the quarter inch so much for trying to do a lot of things because it just doesn't bend real well. But I want the nice thicker line. I'll go back to the 1 8 inch when I start doing some real detail. I'm going to do a bunch of uh, interweaving patterns. And let's see if I get that, make it look where it's okay. I'm not even doing measurements, I'm just doing this one completely by eye. So I'm probably gonna really butcher it, but that's okay. Cause uh, it's gonna be graphics over top of it and a lot of the stuff will be hidden. And that's fairly close. I'll flip around doing the same thing over here. And I may straighten up some stuff, but I just want to introduce what I'm doing here. And then we will proceed to keep on moving on. I got that one there. And we're going to have patterns in here. And then I'm going to do blocks and geometrics all through here. And the next time I have a video segment on that, it'll be pretty much done. And then we'll start doing the, the airbrushing, which is going to be a silver... Orion Silver, really grainy. I'm doing the not the FBC but the BC, so it's grainy. And this is Nova Orange, if I didn't already mention. All right, that's the beginning. That was a quick uh, little tape out, and that's it for now. All right, got this uh, skateboard project here taped out. I'm going to do my overspray patterns on here, which are going to be silver over this orange. So there it is. It's looking pretty good. All right, the thing we're going to do now, I got this back masked here. I'm going to blow some silver off of this edge and then over top of this line here. So that's where we're going to start on that. Hopefully, this camera picks this up. I'm using the head apparatus. There we go, we got silver coming on. This is nice and easy. Try to be smooth. Don't want any blotches or hot spots. Check my paint. Seems like maybe run out. Yep, run out. Just go figure. Go do the video here, and I have issues. But I'll be right back. All right, I'm doing the paint over the top of this stripe here. Get the the pattern down. Hopefully that's showing up on the camera so that I can definitely see with my eyes. I'm going to brighten this up more than the other portion that I did. So this paint's going to stand out more. I 
back to the dead spot. I'm going to repeat the process on all four corners. And you can see where the water blew out here. That's fine. It'll dry up. It's just on top. And uh, there we go. Here's the board. I did all the overspraying. I didn't do any video on it. Um, well, actually, I did. But it managed to get messed up. I was trying to do both this and the video. It's a little bit too much for me to handle. I'm not that good. But anyways, here's this, and uh, the next phase is to get the candy on top. I'm going to do candy root beer over top of this orange and silver, and hopefully it jumps out real nice. Now we're going to go ahead and spray the candy on the skateboard here. I'm using Spanish gold, two parts of that, to one part of root beer. It got a little ice pearl in it, gold ice. So I'm going to get spraying this here, and uh, alright, let's see how this goes down. Now when I'm spraying this, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the edges. I got, ooh, fans working, actually. We'll get them first. Get some good color on it. Now this is kind of a really dirty, coffee looking candy. But it'll, it'll shape up. Nice golden brown. Or brown gold. Now build the color up over this orange it looks gorgeous just to see how that's coming out already. Just a little bit more and then let this sit. Looking nice. Alright, a couple more minutes, let this flash off and then we will uh, proceed to get this done. I'll show the last coat because I'm doing five coats. All right, the next phase here on this board is I got the candy mix on here. It's kind of like a honey candy. It's uh, three parts Spanish gold with one part root beer. And this is over orange, so it's it really goes muted if I take it away from the light there. But I come back to the light, it looks goldeny. It looks like honey. And uh, it's just a neat combination. A lot of people don't mix the candies, but a lot of, you know, the... I guess more experimental painters do and it just really looks good and we'll get this 600 down next and then we will be putting the graphics on I'll do some more video then the skateboard isn't clear so the next phase is to go ahead and get 600 down so we have some traction for the next uh, layers of paint that we're going to put on we're going to get some graphics and lettering done some pinstriping and there it is looks good nice and shiny nice pearls jumping out real nice all in all so far so good all right the next step i'm doing here on this uh skateboard project is is i'm going to go ahead and put the mask on so i can do the artwork and i'm using the transfer tape again i'll just put it all over the whole board and uh well let me get that done here real quick got good lighting it's, uh, it's gotten cold at the shop so the lighting hasn't gotten as good but I'll pull this tape out this transfer tape and it's a uh, it's just kind of a quick way of doing this the paint doesn't actually go through the transfer tape doesn't bleed through at least the brand I'm using so uh, anyways I can do this all in one big pull down there's more than enough let's put that you know, keep pulling it you gotta kind of watch the wrinkles a little bit it's being kind of abusive so pull that up and go ahead and get this Get the point, but that's how quick and easy it is. It's a lot quicker than 
use your masking tape and then I can draw directly to this. Got plenty of other videos where I've done that. And uh, well, I'm just gonna keep it moving on. This is how I do my hot rod flames too, by the way. It's super fast this way. All right, here we go. Next up. Uh... Here it is. The lettering, the rough draft, and believe me, that's a rough draft. And we're gonna go ahead and get these cut out. The, the letters and get that gold leafed. I want to save cleaning this up, making it look better, and getting it airbrushed up after the gold leaf. So uh, I'm going to get it cut. Okay, the, the obviously that's cut out. I'm going to do this next one. It's not a big deal. Just kind of show this real quick. Is just kind of just take the exacto knife, go over what I already got down. And add detail there, kind of get that radius cut slightly, and then back up. I'll come back down, it's easier to pull. Getting that probably not even video in it. Let's come in. Hopefully, I got all the corners matched up. That one looks good so far. Go through and repeat the process on every one of them and then uh, get the sizing glue on. Okay, this is all cut out. I'm good with that. I'm going to go ahead and get the sizing on, the gold leaf sizing. And I'm pulling the can up now. Let me show you what I'm using. If you didn't see it in any of the other videos. Again, not an endorsement. That's just what I use. I think pretty much everybody uses it. And I'm having a hard time getting this can undone. For some reason I can't operate a can the other day. Here we go. I got this brush here I'm going to use because the volume's a little bit less. Because these letters aren't that big. I'll start up here with the L. I'm going to start to the farthest right because I'm a lefty. So I'm not going back over myself. Just get this glue down. And I'm getting it down. And you can see right there, the gold uh, ice pearls showing up in the L. Because this is creating kind of like you would say, like clear coat over the sanding. There that is. And I'll just go ahead and go through this whole process here. Get this sizing down. It's actually kind of cool to watch the ice pearl pop back up. I'll let this dry for a minute and then I'll pull the tape around it, which is already pre cut. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. But, anyways, oops, that was a lot. Good thing about the transfer tape is, is that it does it doesn't allow a lot of stuff to soak through it, but I'm going to go ahead and pop this off as quickly as possible and that way I know it didn't soak it through and then I don't have a mess to clean up but that's about it all right I'm going to keep moving on okay here's the Gold leaf and lettering done on this little skateboard project here. I didn't get any video of it. 
the camera's been glitching out and I had to figure it out, but I wanted to keep moving along because I got, you know, I got to get these jobs done as well as uh, try to get money jobs done as well. So anyways, uh, the next phase is obviously I'm going to be doing the cat. I'm going to readjust the graphics here. This is the rough drawing. And by the time it's said and done, it'll look a lot better. But we will get some more video here in a minute. Just getting the orange down on this now, so uh, this is first color. It's gonna be orange, white, and majority black. You know, calico cat. Next color will be black and we'll leave some white in there. Pardon the noise that's there, compressor pump. I may put another stripe in here. Just to add a little bit more. Alright, now I'm officially done. Here goes the black and we'll do the outside of it. Shadow it in. Hitting edges, try to give it a little bit of uh, 3D character here. Pardon the noise in the background, it's just the airbrush pump is what it's saying. I'm just going to show this for a couple minutes and then uh, I'm going to let go of this camera so I can focus on what I'm doing here. But then I'm going to come in and I'm going to start filling this in black where I need to. A little bit dark right here. Do up here on the head. Build in detail on this. Get those ears on there, going to be in the background. And uh, so, anyway, so let me go ahead and get this camera down. I'll come back in. I'm going to have this black, and there's going to be white in there too. So uh, it's just it's hard for me to do both the filming and the job. So I'm not going to attempt it today. And uh, there we have it for this segment. And then uh, I'll show you when it's finished. Now here's the cat. It was just kind of roughed in. I'm going to come in and I'm going to hand paint. I did put the orange down and those white blotches there. That's for the white so that I can have my pattern set. I didn't want to paint it black and then come back and then 
uh, try to you know figure out what I wanted to do after it was black I wanted to get the stripes down when it was white that's just the way I do things uh, I'm sure other people do it other ways but there's the gold leaf and you can see where the patterns are here so I'm gonna go ahead and do some hand painting get the orange on get the white on detail the face and there's my super fine detailed cat that's about as good as it gets. I'm not an illustrator in any way, shape, or form, but I'm getting better. The more I do it, the better I'm going to get. And uh, again, this is part of my process here. Got the gray laid down. And then my first color here of the next pinstripe pattern. I also got it up top. I haven't done any pattern on there yet or any design. It's not going to be a mirror image. It's going to be something different. I'm doing them long and narrow because the skateboard's long and narrow. So there's going to be nothing out here. And then I'm going to tie in on the side here a little bit something. I'll figure something out. Probably a little bit of scrolling. And uh, there we go. So uh, I'll get videoing again when I'm doing some striping. This is what I'm using next. Brindle Brown House of Color. Just showing that because that's what I'm using. And I'm going to go ahead and start laying some lines down. Get my brush powdered it up. I'm gonna grab the light so I can see better. Probably flooding it out now. Uh, no, it looks pretty good. Now you can see actually see it in the camera. All right, hopefully I don't knock the camera over. I'm pretty uh, not graceful, we'll say. And a lot of this is getting the brush powdered out where it's. Got the paint in there, loaded up nice and right. And that was the thing that got me, uh, once I got past that hurdle, my uh, work improved drastically. Now I gotta get next, past the other one, the shakes. I'll lay down this line. I'm doing browns and oranges on this because they go with the honey candy that I made with the Spanish golden root beer. So it's a, uh, just appropriate and I laid down the first batch of patterns so I can get started on this design I'm not you know I kind of in my mindset how my brain works I need that kind of structure and then I can start building off of that I don't have a problem going forward after it's started so I do the grid and I lay down the design sometimes i go all the way through laying it down that depends on the day but today i'm feeling pretty good so i should be able to build off of this first color without having to uh, basically draw it out and here we go trying to keep consistent with my strokes you know again this is hand done so i'm not going to beat myself up too much if there's a little bobble here and there if anything it adds character and uh, getting a little heavy on the brush there. I'm gonna make this turn. Pick up and I'll clean that line up right here. Don't look good. Try not to move the board. I'm moving myself because the camera's sitting on top of it, obviously. You see that little bobble there? I'll just take my fingernail and I'm just gonna push it right back into it. Try to minimize my cleanup. It's not perfect, do a little bit more. Reload. Come down. I've started from the extreme right because I'm a lefty. Just going to go on the inside of this line. I drew it out just a little bit far from the other one. And then I'll correct it down here. It's a little thin. Load that brush back up. And uh, kind of keep this moving. I don't want to get boring and uh, sit here and 
pinstripe and then babble. So I'm going to get this uh, centerpiece of this design done and then I will cut it off and then show it after it's all finished. I want this design to be long so I'm going to carry the line pretty much all the way down. Nice little trailer. There you go. I'll go ahead and finish this out. I got to do brown on the other side. So uh, hopefully I've been filming the whole time. There's the first color down. And then of course down here. We're going to go ahead and move into this color here. So I'm going to get the brush palette up and then I'm going to freeform that. I'm not going to put any guidelines down and uh, try to keep it simple uh enough that i can keep track of what i'm doing but i'll put the camera back on when i start doing that color as well now i went ahead and put the first color down on here and i was trying to figure out what i want to do as i said i tend to do my uh designs with structure and uh but i'm free form i'm trying to get get myself out of uh certain habits and get better overall in doing this and i went a little wide there I'll tighten it back up and that's the good thing about doing the hand done stuff is is that again it's hand done so if it's perfect the machine did it there's that and i want to carry that element down here and go close to that and then bring it over and stretch it out down to here nice thin line i don't have to be too uh consistent in my lines i like to do thins and thicks and uh inside ones thin outside ones thick and varied up a little bit and go the opposite of what i just said but anyways that's uh that's kind of how i do things i like to keep my uh stylings and practice fresh with new things and uh i'm getting real close to there uh, trail that out and there's that yeah. do a little something in here I've actually gone for simplicity on this one turn it around here Do the same thing in here. And it's closer to the inside, so. And again, right here. Oops, that didn't work out so well, ran out of paint. Hell, you don't even see it. The very last line, there's nothing. There's a little bit at the top. Check this brush, get that. So I didn't blare it out. Do this again. And there it is. That's what I'm looking at here. Okay, here's the next one, orange. 
just get this going here try not to have too much downtime this video is probably pretty long as is and uh what i'm gonna do start to highlight things here with the orange kind of wet and sloppy right now so I'm not real happy with this house paints palette and out but I want to make do with it I'm already started in it to win it at this point and do this line here here Take that up just a little bit on that side right to tip and there we go there's that line and right. stretch this one out here on this side go right up the middle I'm going to cross over the points here and bring that up same thing on this side I'm going to try and make it long and narrow I'm not trying to thicken it up too much This line here. And, uh, let's think about doing that. I don't know if that'll work. There's that. And I am actually going to bring another color in, but I'm going to leave that as that. Take a look at it this way. And there it is. Now I'll show you the other side when it's done. Now the final color I'm going to do is uh, yellow, but I'm only going to do dots to highlight it and how I'd use that to end of the brush. Put it down in there and I'll just kind of do that. Let the paint flow out. So I'll get this loaded up here. I don't want it too big. And then I'm actually going to use my grid and just kind of dab that right there, right there. Load up again. That was a little small on the bottom here, so I'll hit it again. Right there, and then right in between. It looks about right. Right there. Still not enough paint, so I'll do it again. If you have too much on the, the brush, it'll be this gigantic spot. So what I like to do is just kind of hit the hit down on here a couple times, see where we're at, and then come back and reload. And uh, we'll go ahead and do one right here. And I'll take a little bit past that right there. Hit in here. And in there. And I'm going to redo those two. So come back. There we go. And uh, I'll just do one at the very bottom here. And there it is. That one's all done. Putting the small one at the bottom. And I'll do the same thing up here. 
then I'll clean up the grid and then uh, I was thinking about putting some stuff on the side here I think I'm just gonna let the background carry it and that's where we're at we're just gonna call it today on this one I'll get my signature on it but there it is and here's the pinstripe designs all done with the dots and then down here I got the signature next uh, thing after I clean the grid is do the clear and I'll show the final product once it's all cleared all right here we go this is the final product I'll try to get this light out of here and uh, it's all finished up the candy I love the candy and the overspray patterns in the background the pin striping I kind of as always I'm trying to expand uh, what I'm doing and uh, that ice pearl came out awesome on it by the way so uh, if you like this kind of content do me a favor subscribe to the channel leave a thumbs up leave a comment and uh, that's it for now till the next video